Hi guys, welcome to Belfast. So today I'm gonna entertain myself a little bit and get to do something I don't often get to do. Try some of the beers that we're involved in creating. So we've um, came to the Deer's Head in Belfast and we installed a brew pub here um, smack bang in the middle of COVID and now it's really coming to life. Beer scene's changing in Belfast. Um, lots of great beers being brewed in here. Equally, lots of local craft breweries getting their beer poured. Okay, so look, I'll take you in and show you a quick look at the brewery first. So look, here's the brewing team working really hard. You can see, <laughs> look, uh, this is Barry. He does the beer tours. He's the manager. He's, well, he's jack of all trades. <laughs> Sean, well, Sean cleans kegs, brews beer, writes about beer. Drinks beer. Drinks beer. Um, so look, what we're going to do is get some samples and taste them. So Kevin brewed this recently. It's a Belgian uh, ale. So we'd been to Belgium to visit Dingemans Malting. So we've got a Belgian ale here. You can see it's literally just finished primary fermentation. So it's still cleaning up, but aromatics on it. You're getting that real fruity, yeasty esters and a lot of coriander. We use botanical additions in this of coriander and black pepper to really punch through and help that yeast flavor to shine alongside those botanicals. Used the uh, amber aromatic malt and uh, pilsen malt, both from Dingemans, just to showcase that new range of malt. I believe this is around six and a half percent, so one to be enjoyed in the sunshine, um, but to be wary of the, the percentage of the beer also, so enjoyed in moderation. This is a Belgian ale. It's a beer that I've developed a really, you know, strong affiliation with in terms of I appreciate the balance and quality put into Belgian beer. I appreciate the quality of the ingredients and the fact that so much flavor shines from so little in terms of the malt and the yeast and the hops and water. There's no um, massive dry hopping regime in this. There's no advanced hop products. It's just a really delicious beer and it's iconic across the world, Belgian beer, so they're new to us in Belfast, but we're going to showcase them. And I'd say you want to make this at home, we have the new Dingemans um, homebrew kits coming online. Um, you'll be able to buy the ingredients and brew a batch of this at home, but what we want you to do is come down to the Deer's Head and try this beer. It's super fresh, super tasty. It's been brewed on site by local people. It's a local independent bar. It needs your support and the beer is delicious. So if you're not familiar with brewing, the beer is brewed in the two um, machines in the corner here to keep it really in layman's terms. It's taken to the fermenter and it's fermented in here so the yeast does its activity and then it conditions and it's ready for packaging. So it's naturally carbonated in that we close the valve off near the end of fermentation and that means that we use the yeast activity to carbonate. It gives a nicer mouthfeel and a softer mouthfeel in the beer. Um, the beer then needs to be packaged, so it's packaged in the kegs, so the steel kegs, we have a keg filling attachment that just attaches to the tank here, attaches to the top of the keg, and it's literally lifted or rolled across the floor to the cauldron and tapped up, and then it's dispensed directly in the same building that the beer is brewed in. Another beer that I, that I designed a recipe for recently is a table beer, so table beer is designed to be a sessionable beer that can be enjoyed at a low percentage, so perfect beer for sunshine weather, pints with friends. You don't have to worry about the effects of the alcohol because it's 3%. What I wanted to do with this beer was use a lot of dextrin malt, so about, I think it's approximately 25% of this grist is dextrin malt, and that gives the beer body and allows that 3% beer to be flavoursome. So, Rather than hitting it with a large dry hop as well, because we don't want the dextrins to get hop creep, we want that fruity hop, and hop flavor to come through. So we did that in the Whirlpool with a large charge of hops at the Whirlpool. So American fruity hops to really make that fruit flavor shine through. There's been no dry hop. Incredible aroma on this, even without a dry hop addition. It's just over 3% this beer. From memory, it's designed to be sessionable. Really, really lovely hoppy aromatic on the nose.
Oh, super refreshing, tasty, perfect for pints in the sunshine. So make sure you get down and try out, try out a flight of these beers, work your way along the taps. It's great to see that the Deer's Head supports other local craft breweries as well as making all its own beer on site. We've come into the bar, Barry's kindly poured us some tasters to sit down. We've come into the snug, beautiful saloon, lounge bar, comfortable surroundings, nice atmosphere, and there's beer for everyone. So this beer is Peggy Barclays. It's a gluten-free beer, so when I say there's beer for everyone, there is genuinely beer for everyone. So it's a hop forward IPA. It's got a real nice sort of biscuity, bready malt backbone, and then a nice rounded level of bitterness and just a, a tasty finish with the hops in it as well. So great little beer. Okay, so this is a, a pale ale. It's been dry hopped with Galaxy. So Burden Hand is the name of the beer. So all the beers here are named after old Belfast pubs. So incredible tropical fruit aroma off this. Now Galaxy is one of the most sought after hops in the world. I'm very pleased to be able to supply these ingredients to the guys here to make beers like this. So just get stuck in. Wow, if you like hop forward beers, this is the beer for you. Really, really nice hoppy flavor. It's got a nice backbone to it there as well. It's not over the top because it's only 4.2%. So again, modern craft beers, modern beer drinkers, modern paleo, exactly for that, that style of drinker. I like, I like all beer styles. I like them more at different times of the year. So. Stout wouldn't be my choice of beer for a sunny day. I'll be more on one of these pale ales. But what I do like about this stout is that it's poured with nitrogen. So replicating the world famous Guinness, obviously, by pouring it under nitrogen. We're not trying to replicate Guinness here. What we're trying to do is create a stout with loads of roasty, robust, chocolatey, coffee, licorice flavors that, that really drive the palate in terms of flavor at the end of the day so it's not bland it's not made for mass market it's made to be enjoyed and talked about so cheers what I like about this beer super smooth really nice mouthfeel so it's got a lot of drinkability but it's got those nice roasty chocolatey flavors that you would expect from a craft start independent saloon bar with a brew pub on site a great team of people, great quality beers. We hope to see you here soon, and until next time, cheers.